New at 10, there are new questions after the arrest of a South Florida condo president. They center around a check obtained by seven investigates. And here's the night team's Heather Walker. <laughs> It turns out there was trouble in paradise. That trouble centered around the president of an Aventura condo association seen here handcuffed and arrested. What I can tell you is that we were living a daily nightmare. I can say it's a historical day. We are very happy. A happy day for some residents, but a very bad day for Turnberry on the Green president, Gregory Arzumanoff. He took over not just the building, but all, everything going on around the building, every asset used in and around the building. It was a complete takeover. I've never seen anything like this in my entire career. In addition to being the condo president since 2008, prosecutors say he was also the building's property manager and chief engineer. In those positions of trust, he had the ability to spend money for things theoretically that was for the association. Well, what he did was he actually bought things that we believe were for himself. The state says Arzumanov stole more than $1.5 million from the association, using it for personal items like food, artwork, even airplane fuel for his flight lessons. Now, two weeks after his arrest, there are more questions about what else unit owners might have paid for. Good morning, Your Honor. Sam Raven on behalf of Mr. Arzamanov. Seven investigates obtained a copy of this $15,000 check paid by Turnberry on the Green Condominium Association to Raven and Lopez, PA, the Miami law firm now representing Arzumanov in this criminal condo case. I've been representing Mr. Arzamanov since uh, earlier this year, I'd say approximately April of this year. The same month the check was issued. The memo reads, legal retainer, Aventura PD. But in a statement to Seven Investigates, attorney Sam Rabin says the check and the payment it represents is not for Mr. Arzumanov's representation in his criminal case. The $15,000 payment was made during the course of an investigation, the details of which were unknown at the time. Adding Mr. Arzumanov was arrested approximately five months after that payment, and the fees for his representation in his criminal case are being paid for exclusively by Mr. Arzumanov. Condo law expert David Haber says the key question is whether the prior board voted to approve the payment. The board would have the right to hire an attorney for an investigation into its president. Is it legal? Yes. Was it probably a good idea? Probably not. For now, Arzumanov remains locked up at the Metro West Detention Center. You have to show the money used to post your bond is from a legitimate source of funds. Meaning he'll have to convince a judge the money he uses to get out of jail wasn't illegally taken from residents. Heather Walker, 7 News. And Arzumanov is being held on a $350,000 bond tomorrow morning. A judge will hear his attorney's request to reduce that amount.